Welcome back to part two of our wreath making video series. In part one, we gathered our wreath making greens. This time, Eleanor and Joan will guide us through how they make their Christmas wreaths as part of this holiday tradition. The round coat hanger is the base for the wreath. <clears throat> and once it's made, it'll be very full and we won't be able to find the hook. So we'll put this on so once it's finished, we know where the hook is to hang it up with. So I've got the first piece, first little bouquet wired on. And now the next one, you sort of angle them this way and then the next one that way, and it, it will make a full wreath. And Eleanor will make the little bouquets. And ladies, when they were making the wreaths, would wrap the wire in a spiral very tightly. And I was never able to master that. So I crisscross my wires. So and it's just <clears throat> the same process to go all the way around the wreath, all the way around the wire. And you can see it, it's starting, starting to show. Now, years ago, the ladies used to put pine in it, but for some reason, I guess they didn't like the dirty hands, they stopped. And then I think it dries out faster than the other stuff. But it like stays it's... green. The pine stays green. I find pine and cedar are fine. I used to make them at home and put in pine and cedar. Occasionally what I'll do to pull it tight, I use my needle nose pliers. It takes a little of the pressure off the fingers. I would only make two or three in a day. Oh, well, then she and a big day, I might make four, depending if the greens were very nice and long. But if you're picking up little bits and trying to make Which we usually end bouquets, up it would take a long time. I'm just choosing the greens and then putting one of the, what we call the candles in them. Just sort of making a handful. They call, we call these bouquets. And trying to have a candle at least and some, and then the ground pine and just sort of make a, which get a little bit more color. While I'm alternating them like from side to side, and you just put them on top of the last bit of stems and then wire them in place. Make sure you pull the wires really tight. Oh, that goes over. This is where I crisscross because I could never get them to stay the other way. It's just ordinary water, just to keep the greens fresher. And then once the wreath's made, you have to spray it, or uh, some put them in their bathtub in water. So just so once the bow goes on, you don't particularly want to do that. But uh, to spray them with water, and in the winter, I put them out just in the snowbank and yeah. swish them around and put them back on the door. Putting it in, yeah. try and even it out because of my crisscrossing. And then I'm just going to put it underneath a bit of the old wire this time. There's enough left to do that. That'll help hold it even more solidly. When I made these at home for myself, as I said, I put a lot of uh, cedar into it. That would end, sort of bring in a, a brownish tone as well as a green one. And cedar, of course, doesn't turn brown quickly, so it was fine in the reeds. But we never did that at the church. Yeah, when I was making them at home sometimes, I would just put all the greens in the bathtub and soak them overnight. Oh. I don't knock it. Yeah, we're halfway. <laughs> no. It's just a copper wire. It's fairly malleable. 
There'll be lots of jokes, there'll be lots of politics, there'll be lots of yep, gossip, whatever. Yep. Oh, try oh. doing this for four days in a oh, row. Yes, yeah, start on Monday and usually try to end on the Thursday, right? Yeah. And then you have to start baking for the tea. And, and then the sandwich that. making. Yeah, it was a busy, busy time. Well, that Saturday night after you came home and the tea was over and the cleanup was done, one tended to sit down, put one's feet up with something long and cool. Yeah. <laughs> Preferably with a little bit of a kick to it. Well done. I figure I'm flipping this back and forth enough that I know if it's going to fall apart or not. With the last one, I try to have enough wire left to wrap it around the, the hanger, base of the hanger, so that everything is doesn't move as much. Doesn't move. Do we want the bow up here or do we want it down here? The bow goes on. This is finer wire. Okay. What do you think? Nice. Sometimes you look for a thin spot and tuck the cones in like that, or you can tuck them in individually, however you think they will work best. 